Professor Baurani, Egaliarsen, they have given here. This is the original Greek text of the Gospel. It means, let the heavens rejoice. Let things on earth be glad. Today, my friends, is truly a day of such joy, such gladness. Because angels from high celebrate the rebirth of spirit and of heart in you, my dear, the newly enlightened souls. Here, in this beautiful church of St. Catherine, you have made the open witness and confession, the confession of the faith that leads to life of everlasting. You have uttered for yourselves the words of faith, the faith that we call the Nicene Apostolic And this faith fulfilled these 12 articles of the symbol of our faith, that which encapsulates the true faith of the 12 apostles. In the presence of these martyrs, you have given your own testimony to faith. The faith in Jesus Christ, who is the only begotten Son of God, as your archbishop and spiritual servant, I extend to you and your families and your friends who have joined with us today, both the sponsors who really led to the faith. I wish you all my most sincere blessings and congratulations. You have made a great step in your ascent of the ladder to heaven. And you are helped on the way by the Virgin Mother of God, our Panagia. Our Virgin Mary became the ladder of Lord's descent to the world, the world of human family. For here in the United States of America, where Orthodox Christianity is a minority representation of Christianity, we are determined to manifest as broad and includes the harmonia as is possible. <laughs> Our Lord Jesus Christ and His Holy Church is for everyone. Welcomes all according to His divine saying, the Gospel where He says, All that my Father has bestowed upon me will come to me, and I will never cast out the one who comes to me. The baptism today is your emergence from the sacred womb of the Church. Is the fulfillment of your conditions, the period of time when you studied and were instructed in the faith. But I urge you, my dear brothers and sisters, do not cease from engaging with the truth of our faith. Being a disciple of the Lord is a lifelong person we do not follow him for a day, for a week, or for a year. We follow him for life. We spend our lives learning from our ultimate nature, and in return, he grants us eternal life. Pray that your spiritual path from here on will be one that is perfect for you and the life you intend to live. But we are also part of a much larger family now. Many brothers and sisters have been born from the baptismal womb that gave birth to you today. Connected to the millions and millions of Orthodox Christians throughout the world. So I encourage you to be part of the family, to rely on the family, and to learn from the family when there is a through the prayers of St. Catherine, the all wise, whose church we are today, and St. George, the trophy bearer, who was also dedicated to this beautiful church, I pray that you will bless us every aspect of your life, and may you always live in such a way that you glorify the God whom you confess today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Who is glorified and loved unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen.